firstly for for you it's it, it must be an important day because you know you write so many inspiring and kind of empowering songs as well for for so many for so many people in your life who who have been the most important women both you know personally and within music oh that's a really good question i think obviously the obvious my mom my grandma my nana you know the women who raised me i just have obviously given me the most beautiful example of just love and just womanhood and being strong and you know um and then i think as a musician you know, I love like the 60s and stuff like that. And Nina Simone is one of my favorite artists of all time. And she, to me, is just like, look, actually, I just, there we go, there she is. Okay, there, there. yeah, exactly. Big poster in the house. Yeah, I love her so much. Um, but there's so many incredible women, you know, I love Adele, Alicia Keys, Jill Scott, just so many brilliant women. Do you think, do you think those are the people that, that you want to listen to because, they, they're very, they're, all of those artists are very honest and very raw. Do you think that's what attracts you to them is the honest female kind of icons within music? I guess so, you know, actually, now you put it that way, yeah. I think there's something about just being transparent and 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 vi visceral with your art that's just so beautiful and so powerful and I find it so inspiring. So, yeah, actually, I think yeah. you hit the nail on the hammer there. The hammer on the nail. nail. on the hammer, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, what what I will say is is we we got uh, such an amazing insight. You know, we'll, we'll come to the Brits, but but the the main thing that you said there as well, you mentioned your nan, and we got an amazing insight into your relationship. Tell us exactly what what did that mean to be able to have your nan with you there on stage at what possible quite potentially, and and what I would put a guess would be the biggest night of your life. Oh, hands down, it was. I think, you know, like that woman raised us, you know. My mum works at NHS, she was there for 30 years, whatever, she worked full time. My dad worked in an insurance company, do you know what I mean? But that he was away from home a lot. Grandma used to take us to school every day, pick us up from school every day. She used to carry my cello on her back, push Abby in the pram. Like she moved from Ghana to basically take care of us. She poured so much love in into our childhood so much sacrifice you know yeah like, I don't know what we would have done without her so I owe her so much so I don't know being able to just yeah it was too much you know it, it was too much really it was I really loved I, I loved as well because I was watching I was watching the whole time when, when she when she made her way onto stage and then she started she was really crying <laughs> and it did make me think, do you think from her side, like obviously, you know, she's she's so happy for you, but do you think she was, you know, emotional because she knows the journey that you've been through? Like how honest are you with her about how hard it's been? Or how how you know, how aware has she been of it? No, of of everything. I speak to her every day. You know, it's it's yeah, she knows, you know what I mean? And we're, we're also, me and her are literally the same person. Like, I feel like I got so much of my character and who I am from her. Uh, even her teeth, we have the same teeth. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we're as dramatic as each other as well. So we're up there like, yeah, do you know what I mean? We're up there like, yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah, she knows, you know? She absolutely knows. And she's just been the most beautiful backbone you know, to lean on in, in tough times. She's just yeah. incredible. Well, look, it, it's International Women's Day and we couldn't have uh, a show without uh, speaking to the, the woman of, of, of the moment, of course. Um, and it taught me through that Brits night because, I mean, is that like, because that's the dream, right? Like you can't, a dream doesn't get any better than that. No, I don't think it does. I think, it, honestly, I've been... I didn't sleep till six last night. I was like, I'm just lying in bed, like thinking like, how, how did we get here? Is this real? I think it's a lot is it to process as well, Ro, because I just didn't, I just don't know. It's just, yeah. It's, yeah. It was, it was amazing that it was amazing though, because you know, what I think it's done as well, and, and what's so strange that it's done, is that a lot of people, right, will, will have seen who you are for the first time. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, for, for us here at Capital and for, for everyone else that's, you know, into their music, of course they know who you are. But all of a sudden, I've heard so many people over the last, you know, few days say to me, oh, my God, you know, who is this artist? Who is this Who is this amazing person that, you know, you got up there and you, and you sang, but also, you know, uh, I really connect with the music. It, has that been kind of the experience for you? Do you feel like you've been, like, kind of, introduced almost to a whole new side of of the UK and the, and into the world no completely I felt I, I definitely felt that I feel, I've got tons of messages like I've just discovered you yeah. I'm like yay welcome to the vibe I think it's a lot though Ro. like you know how it is sometimes when all of a sudden you have a, a moment and a spotlight shone on you I think you get a loads of beautiful things and then also loads of really ugly and tricky things and opinions of people judging you when they've never met you and and yeah. I'm like oh my god like, ah it's it's a is it like a real bittersweet thing that that thing in itself I know I know you know what I'm talking about so yeah like, of course yeah. of course man but but like but, but that's it. But but you you go through that. But but that night, I mean, you know, how many did you think you were gonna win? Honestly, did you think you were gonna win any of them? I was praying for the album one, but I didn't expect it. I was hoping to win the best new artist one, but you know, I I wasn't expecting anything. The songwriter of the year I was like I can go home with that and I can be ridiculously more than happy yeah so why, I did why, have... why the album why the album one why does everyone want that as an artist like because you know we're not we're not artists so we, so we don't really understand so so why is that the one that everyone got because you can feel it in the room as soon as you say album of the year everyone goes <sighs> well the thing is like even for the the best new artist or whatever you're not eligible for that award until you have an album it's like the whole concept and purpose of being an artist from since you discover what an artist even is, yeah. is what's their album? What's it like? What's their story? You know what I mean? It's it's a, it's just the purpose. I feel like it's just the purpose of artists. You put an album together, like that's what it's about. So, and I think on top of that, Ro, you know how difficult it's been for me in the past and like how that was my goal. All I wanted to do was be an albums artist and that wasn't the case in, the, in my earlier career and stuff. So it was just like to, to actually get that moment where you're like, put an album out and then it exceeds every single possible expectation you could have had there and then some, and then you go to the Brits and then your album's getting recognised, there's no higher honour in this country and in my heart. So that was too much, to be honest. Yeah, amazing. Uh, where, where are they in your house right now, the awards? Have you been able to even fit them on one mantle, please? I don't even have them yet. It's so When do you sad. get them? I don't know. I've been asking, like, when can I have them? <laughs> 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 you want them you want them in the bed there just ready hey, so you, you know wake I mean? up I want them the all next to my bed next to my pillows I just wake up like wow yeah. <laughs> exactly it, it it really did happen I mean so look you I know you had uh you, you had an after party what was the after party like do you know what at that point I was so overwhelmed and I'd just been crying all night yeah. <laughs> I just, it was either go to bed or get really drunk. So I went with that option instead. I was in McDonald's at about 6 a.m. I found some videos on my phone of me like, oh, I <laughs> in McDonald's, I like, chatting to these lovely people who were there drunk off my nut. But it were, was you still, were you still wearing hotel slippers? Because I saw you I getting was... into a car with hotel slippers. I shamelessly didn't even attempt to put any heels on. Yeah. I, I just wanted to wear a jumper and jeans. I'm not going to lie. I was like, please, like, let me just, they're like, come on, it's your night. My stylist is like, come on, we got this red Moschino dress. Wear it. And I was like, all right, I'll do that. But I'm staying in the slippers. We've realised something at Capital that, that every time we've we've spoken to you, uh, you've, you've somehow manifested the next thing. 
um, you, you, you manifested in the first instance, I think that you said was, uh, this is a while back when you said you wanted your first number one record. And then you also said you manifested, you wanted to do the album. And then it was, you wanted to be nominated for Brit Awards. And then all of a sudden you were, and then the next thing after that, this is genuine, by the way, we looked this up. It was like, you, you wanted that, you wanted a collaboration. There was a collaboration with someone. I can't remember who it was, but then there was also the fact that you were like, I want to win a Brit award and you've done all of them. So what are we manifesting next? What's the next one? Is it Grammy? Is it what? Oh, I don't even know right now. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> what I could even possibly wish for. I think if if it was anything, it would just be to make another album I'm really proud of. Yeah. I think that's going to take some time, probably. I don't know. Um, What else would I want to even manifest? See, this is it. It's wild because you, you've manifested it all and then now you don't even know what you want. <laughs> yeah. it, look, obviously, a grand, let's put it out there. One Why day, not? One day, bro, I would love to win a Grammy. Well, there you go. Uh, and I guarantee that day will come. I, I've, got, I've got all certainty that that day will come. And we will go back to this interview. We'll have a second. nice chat if yeah, it ever yeah. does. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, Ray, thank you so much for for chatting to us, mate. And honestly, all of us were so, so pleased that, that you did so well. We all know, obviously, the, the story that you've been through. You know, mate, you know, I, I leave Capital in uh, not too long. I, I, I've got the end of the month, so I've only got a few uh, couple of weeks of shows left. So, you know, it's been a journey to be able to interview you on your journey. And it's been a privilege. So thank you. Emotional, though, Ray. Are you, got, are you feeling it? Yeah, a little feel- bit. A little bit because you know you you, you realise that the people you know and that's why at the Brits it was very much like you, you start to see the artists that you've kind of grown up with and then you're kind of like you're graduating and then you're moving on. Um, so yeah, it'll be it, the final show will be very emotional. But as I say, it's been such an amazing journey for me to be able to see artists like yourself grow and grow. Oh, I really appreciate that, and I'm excited for you for whatever's next. And also, I'm excited for you to not have to wake up at four a.m. every yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, Ray, thank you so much for joining thank us, mate. And we'll speak soon. All right, darling, take care. 